We're going to demonstrate how to measure height and weight. Now you may think that that's pretty simple, and it is, but there are some standardized techniques. To measure height, we can either use a stadiometer, which is what this device is, platform a vertical bar up. We can use similar height device on a physician scale, or you could even measure someone against the wall. OK, to measure height, we need to have shoes off. Professor Carrillo has volunteered to be our demonstrator. She's going to step up on the stadiometer. She's going to have her heels together, feet apart. This is a standardized uh, procedure. I'm going to look and make sure that she's centered on the stadiometer. That looks good. We want to ideally have the heels against the vertical bar, her buttocks, her scapula, and the back of her head. However, if some of those sites don't fit, we don't want to have her contort herself. Two sites, two locations is fine. I'm going to bring this down to the top of her head. She's going to take a deep breath in. When people breathe in, they get taller. She's going to exhale. If it pushes it up, I leave it at the tallest point that it reached. She can go ahead and step down. From this side, I can measure centimeters. From this side, I can measure inches right to this point. As you can see, she's just over 62 inches. We can also measure height using the physician scale. I'm going to set it up. Christina has her shoes off. She's going to step on, heels together, toes apart. OK, on this one, she is not going to be able to push it up as she inhales. So I'm going to have her inhale now. I'm going to put it right on the top of her head, level. She can exhale. Then she can step away. I can measure centimeters right down here on this side that I'm facing, inches. So she's at 62 and 3 quarter inches over here. And that's how we use the stadiometer on a physician scale. To measure weight, we're going to use a physician scale. This particular scale has two units of measurement. The silver are kilograms, the black are pounds. So you need to make sure you're in the correct unit. I'm going to move this bar over. And when I see a number that's in the silver window, that's 40 kilograms. If I move it over and I see the black number in the bottom window, that's 150 pounds. So you need to make sure you're reading the correct units. I'm going to measure kilograms, so if I moved it there, I see 60 in the silver marking, 60 kilograms. So Christina's going to have shoes off. She's going to remove, if she had a sweatshirt or a coat on, we would take that off. Any extra weight, cell phone, things like that should be taken off. Watch, little earrings are fine. Mr. T-type jewelry, not OK. She's going to step up. I'm going to measure in kilograms. That's going to be 40 kilograms. The top silver goes 20 kilograms, so I'm going to slide this along. I can actually even just pinch this to see if it's level. Slightly more, so I'm going to move to the right. Okay, I think we're good there. I'm going to have her step down. So I have 40 kilograms along the silver scale. I've got 14.7, so it's 54.7 kilograms.